Good morning everyone. Let us discuss George Bernard Shaw, the famous dramatist of the 20th century. His philosophy of life. Shaw's philosophy of life. No one in the modern English literature has been subjected to so much bewildering thinking as G.B. Shaw. He has been mostly misunderstood or most variously misunderstood. He has expressed himself practically on every subject under the sun. A superficial reading of his plays is likely to give the impression that he has undertaken the role of a professional critic of literature, art, medicine, religion, politics, morality, marriage and family relationship, social prejudice, economic disparity, poverty, social standard and what not. A great shatterer of illusions. In fact, he is an icono- iconoclast, that is, society, um, an outcast to society. He seemed to have launched a relentless crusade against certain taboos, shams, and outdated traditional values. Shaw dug deep to the roots of conventional belief and showed to the world that the external conditions were mere distortions of reality. He wanted a whole scrapping of the existing institutional values in every sphere of human life. A shunning, a stunning variety of themes of his play tend to create an impression that he was an aggressive social revolutionary impatient to get rid of the malignant tyranny of social, economical, moral, political and religious evils. It is interesting to note that Shaw was not a committed socialist for the sake of socialism or an eager economist for the sake of economy. He has classed himself as an artist philosopher. But behind his apparent socialism is Shaw's essential and fundamental philosophy of creative evolution of or life force. It is this theory of life force that provides unity and coherence to his various pleas. The philosophy springs from Shaw's new metaphysics which makes him believe that the life force is the ultimate reality behind the world of senses. This shaving philosophy is too profound and mysterious. In simple words, it means to be the will for betterment. Shaw warns that man must make his children greater than himself. Man's ultimate aim is to become superman and then turn into pure thought. After making a moral and intellectual analysis of the contemporary civilization, Shaw was convinced that men's energy were woefully misdirected. If life force were to advance towards its goal for higher and higher evolution of man, society should cease to persist in its presence in adequacy. Shosho believed that if we desire with genuine passion of will to be changed into superman, our desire will be definitely be fulfilled. Our desire will definitely be fulfilled. Uh, the nations then would be ruled in wisdom and virtue. War and all other evils would vanish from the earth. Now that's all for Shaw's philosophy of life. Uh, that is mainly about his uh, focus on life force. Thank you.